GenCom for Windows concentrates all of your communication needs into a single, easy-to-use Windows application. Start by logging in with your username and password. Check the boxes to remember your password and automatically log you in. Once you log in, the client retrieves your service profile and presents your friends list. If the list is empty, don't worry, we'll add friends here in a moment. At the top of the interface, you see your presence indication. Some events, such as using the phone, will automatically change your presence. In addition, you can manually set your presence for do not disturb, at lunch, etc. To the right, you have the main menu. Here you can host a Meet Me conference, manage contact groups, access the end user portal, including voicemail, retrieve park calls, or perform a call pickup. You can also access your preferences to change the client's behavior. And here's the help. Some organizations enable Presence Watcher authorization. This requires you to accept that your peers can watch your presence status. If it's enabled, an eye icon will be shown. The icon opens a window that lets you decide who in your organization can monitor your presence. At the bottom, you have a tab selector. This lets you change the main window to the phone panel, the contacts, the call history, instant message history, and the collaboration panel. Let's start with the phone panel. Here you can dial somebody in three different ways. You can dial their number using your keypad, you can type their number or username in the field above it, and you can use one of the function keys to speed dial a user. You can assign your own function keys in the preferences, but for your convenience, the first two are typically predefined for a call grabber and to join a Meet Me conference. The Contacts panel allows you to view your friends and the global directories. Friends are contacts you've selected for immediate access, and typically, they will also have enabled you to monitor their presence. By default, you can double-click on a contact to start a call, or if you prefer, you can go to the Preferences and choose IM as the default behavior. You can also right-click and select multiple contact options. Connect with the contact by phone, send an IM, send a file, or the contents of a clipboard, share a whiteboard, or even send an email. If your account is enabled, an option to start a collaboration session will also appear. In addition, it's easy to view or edit the contact's details or even delete the contact from the list. Contacts can be arranged in groups. To do so, click on the main menu button, go to GenCom, and select Edit Groups. Here you can create new groups, delete groups, or rename existing groups. To assign a contact to a group, choose a contact, select Edit, and then choose the group from the pull-down menu. Click Save to finish. There are two ways to add a personal contact. The easiest way is to find them in the global directory. Start by selecting the directory button and typing the name or part of the name of the person. The GenCom client will present a list of matching contacts. Right-click on the person you want to add and select Add Contact. The contact fields will be pre-populated with information from the global directory. And you can add additional details, assign the user to a group, or define a custom ringtone. You can also mark Show Availability to monitor the contact's presence. And finally, mark it as a trusted user to allow the contact to transfer files to you without having to accept files individually. The second way to add a contact is by clicking on the plus sign next to the contact search box and filling in the contact's details manually. It's common for conversations to start by observing a coworker's presence and then sending an instant message. Once the user has confirmed availability, you can easily escalate the conversation to a voice or video call with the press of a button. Dealing with incoming calls is also very easy. An alert will appear on your screen. If the call is internal, the contact's information and picture will appear. Otherwise, typically caller ID is displayed. You can answer with voice or video, or send the call to voicemail. If the user is part of your organization, you can respond with an IM. The Call Logs tab shows all of your calls and allows you to filter outgoing, incoming, and missed calls. The log shows the contact ID as well as the timestamp and the duration of the call. You can return or redial a call by right-clicking on the entry and selecting call. 
the IM History shows a view of your stored IM conversations. Just double click on one to reopen the window and resume where you left off. You can also right click on any conversation to interact with the contact in different ways. GenCom for Windows uses Meet Me for voice conferences. You can join a Meet Me session from the phone tab by dialing Meet Me or using the Join Conference key. System will prompt you for the conference's host access code. If you want to host your own conference, the easiest way is to click the main menu and select Host Conference. This will connect you to your Meet Me session directly. If enabled, the Collaboration tab allows you to easily start a screen share only or a full voice and video web collaboration session with one or more contacts. To do that, just select the contacts you want to invite by clicking in the checkbox next to their names and click on the Start Collaboration button. You can also copy your collaboration link to the clipboard, send it by email or in a meeting invite, or send it to participants by IM. When you click on Start Collaboration, a browser window will open and you are automatically connected to your own collaboration room. There you can share content with other participants in a video conference. Many of us like to personalize our settings. Just go to Main Menu and select Preferences. Here you can change multiple settings, select different audio or video devices, and personalize your experience. You can also access the main menu to go to the end user portal, where you will be able to modify different aspects of your unified communication service. And finally, in the very infrequent chance that you run into trouble, you can access the help menu where you can also check for updates and collect logs to send to the support team. GenCom for Windows makes it easy to connect and collaborate with your colleagues so that you can spend your time doing what's really important. It's smart for business. It's smart office.